What's up? This is Squad2448 with a Farming 2217 video. Today we'll be delivering a snow gloomer, a few snowmobiles, ice skates, and snowboards to the ski resort here on the Wood Meadow Farming map. We'll first be loading up the snow gloomer onto the low boy. So we'll be hopping in the red Peterboat and we'll be detaching the low boy, getting it ready for us to load on. And I'm very excited for delivering these to the ski resort. We did do a delivering video earlier on in the week, delivering snow plows, everything like that that you guys really did enjoy that one so I do appreciate the support on that and we are changing up on the wood meadow farming map since they do have like a ski resort area which is pretty cool we'll be raising up the blade and I do apologize for any lag this map does kind of have a few problems with my frame rates and recording so we'll be kind of backing this on and loading it on it's a very wide machine and this mainly kind of takes care of the ski slopes making sure that they are ready for the skiers and snowboarders and this year they will also have an ice rink at the bottom for anybody who wants to do some free skating, which should be pretty cool. We're lowering down the blade and once we do get this delivered, we'll be switching back over here. We'll be using the forklift to load up the uh, snowboards, which are in the boxes, and the ice skates are already loaded on. So we'll be hopping back in the Peterboat and we'll attach. I would like to thank each and every one of you for the continued support on the daily content. I really do enjoy doing these daily farming sim videos. These are a lot of fun and I also do enjoy featuring all of the other very cool videos here on the channel. So we have to do a pretty wide turn making sure that we are not going to bottom out. We do have a low boy which doesn't have good ground clearance even when it's extended. It looks like we are having just a little bit of sliding problems but the Peterboat is able to kind of go through it and we have to be careful about this turn. Wow, very challenging turn and looks like we have one wheel off the road so we'll have to kind of do a three point turn. Looks like we won't be able to do that. Have to readjust, turn our hazard lights on as we kind of go around this turn. Very challenging. If I had known, I would have uh, kind of been in the other lane a lot sooner but we are making it work. Wow, so take a look at that guys, we got the turn, very challenging, we were able to do it before the traffic came speeding onto us, which was pretty cool, you guys can see there is a lot of different uh, slopes, everything like that here on the Wood Meadow Farming map, which is one amazing map. If you guys haven't already, I do recommend you go follow me on Instagram. I do post a lot of very cool pictures and everything like that, so you guys will not miss any updates also. So we actually just passed by a volunteer fire department, which is pretty cool. We'll be adding one of those to the mowing map very, very soon. So on these wide turns, we really do have to kind of stay a little bit off the road, but I mean, there is a pretty large area where we could crash so we do have to be pretty careful but this is one epic eater boat to haul with We are just about here at the ski resort. You guys can see it's actually a log cabin, kind of turned into a business, which is pretty cool. So we'll be pulling in here, and I think we will also be unloading today. So we'll kind of uh, cruise in. We do have to be pretty careful for our load, but we'll just kind of double check it. Looks like we did a pretty good job turning in. And on the next trailer, we will be watching out, and we'll try our best to not have any problems with uh, the turn there. But take a look, guys, that railroad track also just caused us a little bit of trouble so we made it here in one piece a little challenging but we did it so next up we'll kind of uh, detach it kind of pull forward and we'll just let's see I'm not exactly sure if this is a shed if it is we could easily and uh, probably park it inside yep I think we'll give it a try to put this inside I really do d enjoy doing these uh, delivering videos these are a lot of fun we do deliver many different things even uh, including some hauling into it which is pretty cool but I think that this is just a little too wide almost looks like it's just going to fit so we'll kind of back up looks like that side is clear that side is clear wow take a look at that that is awesome then you guys can see that the uh, blade actually extends out which is pretty cool that's awesome how they have one right at the bottom and you guys can see the ski slopes over there that's a pretty big one so we'll just kind of get attached to it and then we'll kind of switch over to the forklift awesome so we'll just back up attach it we'll kind of leave this here for us and we'll be switching over here. We're using another PV boat today, which is awesome. So while it does get warmed up, we'll be loading on the uh, snowmobile and the 
snowboards, which is awesome. So you guys can see they do actually have the uh, snowmobile on the pallet. They did request it this way, so we'll be uh, doing their request. So we'll kind of turn on the forklift. Very nicely done on this. I'm very excited to have a forklift like this. And it looks like it just came, kind of came out. Kind of have to re-grab the pallet, which is okay. Awesome, so we did this. We actually do have to kind of extend it out just a little bit, making it a little bit easier when we do load it on. And I actually want to load it on from the opposite side, not the closest side, just because it's a little bit easier to unload them when you uh, load them up all on the same side. So we'll be loading this on right next to the other one, and you guys can see they will be taking two, mainly for just kind of going up and down the mountain uh, ski slopes, making sure everything is working, and uh, if not, calling up the snow groomer. So we'll kind of back up here. Looks like we do have to take a little bit weight off, and sometimes getting this position and the level on the forks is a little challenging. Kind of tilt it back. That should be good just about there. Yep, take a look at that. We'll be loading up the next set in. I actually kind of extended this out so that the wheels will not go underneath the trailer. I think that's a little bit more realistic. A little bit easier also. We do not have to worry about the wheels kind of having any trouble underneath the trailer. And we are right outside of the warehouse. I thought that it would be cool to kind of start outside. I will be looking into pretty much starting some of these delivering videos inside the warehouse here on the Wood Meadow Farming map. And we do also have a warehouse on the mowing map. So I will definitely have to look into that. So let's kind of see. Looks like uh, the boxes did move just a little. And looks like we will... Yep, take a look at that. A little challenging. But we got both, which is awesome. Very efficient when you get two at once. We'll be coming around the trailer and we'll be loading it on to the very back. I think that there's room right behind the uh, ice skates, which is good. You guys can see we have uh, just about, I would say, 12 boxes per uh, pallet for those, which means that there's just around, I would say, a lot of pairs of ice skates in there, which is pretty cool. So we'll be sliding this back in. Uh, loading and unloading these pallets do take a lot of time, but that's fine. We do have a lot today. So we'll be kind of loading this on, and I hope you guys do enjoy the video later today. I've been putting a lot of work into all the very cool videos. Very excited for everything. So we do actually have to reattach. You cannot really unload them and load them with them uh, attached. So we'll be uh, kind of putting the sides on, and we'll be making our way over there. You guys can see we do have this very nice Peterboat. Looks like we are kind of looking out the back. And uh, since we do have this turn, no vehicles will be kind of coming in. We'll be going as far wide as we can to prevent us from having any trouble. So we will definitely have to check both ways for traffic. That way is good, but we do have to check the other way since it's a very wide turn. And like I was saying, I do apologize for the lag. I will have to look into it. This map definitely causes a lot of frame rate problems when recording, so I will have to kind of look into that. I did remove some high textured buildings, but I'm not exactly sure what is the cause. So you guys can see that. I really do like having this enclosed trailer. It's very nice, and it is pretty cool how the sides kind of come up and down when you do want to load the uh, pallets on, which is pretty cool. kind of protects it from the weather, and uh, the people driving by do not get to see what's inside, which is good for uh, some reasons. But you guys can see, it looks like this is a pretty busy area. A lot of people in the parking lot. If you do have any cool video ideas, drop them down below in the comments. We'll definitely be doing many more delivering videos, hauling videos, and even more of the different types of landscaping, and soon to be a lot more snow plowing. So stay tuned for snow plowing. We are getting everything worked out on the mowing map, and we will be getting a lot more upgrades with snow plows. So we have arrived here at the uh, ski resort. You guys can see very nicely done. I do like how there's a few ski holes. That's a pretty cool feature. So we'll be pretty much Whoa, take a look at that. So the uh, front bumper caught on the train track. So I will definitely have to look into that, kind of fixing up that so that we do not have to worry about the train track. So we'll kind of come up right over here. This looks to be good. We'll be uh, taking the sides off and we'll be disconnecting it, making it a little bit easier for us. And it looks like it, we almost left the forklift running, which is not the best. Looks like we did. That's okay, but uh, just a little bit of fuel we went through. So we'll be unloading them and we'll be putting them right behind the building. 
gonna turn around here really good turning radius that's one of the best things about this three wheeled forklift and I really do like it a lot how we get to use one of these in farm sim so we'll definitely have to kind of readjust to get it and looks like we'll be getting one hopefully we could get both of them that'll be very helpful to do so we'll kind of slide this in if we do get both that'll be very efficient looks like we'll kind of lift it up looks like we will uh we kind of drag the other one so we'll kind of uh kind of re-grab it Awesome, so it looks like we just about almost got that, but we won't be getting that. I do not want it to kind of fall off the forks, anything like that. So we'll be tilting this down, kind of just bringing it right over here behind it. And I think that we won't be unloading that one just because we might run in into some problems kind of unloading. So we'll kind of uh, lower it down and let this come off. Awesome, so we got that one off on our first try, which is pretty good. Next up, we'll be getting uh, both uh, pallets of ice skates. So they will be doing an ice skating rink, which is pretty cool. All you really have to do is kind of get a closed off area, fill it up with water uh, about two to three inches or even five, and you pretty much have an ice rink, which is awesome. Very cool. Even people do it in their backyard. So we might have to do something cool like that. We'll kind of continue. Looks like we just have this one. Awesome, so we are getting both at once, you guys can see the second one, the, the fork only goes about halfway, but that's good enough, it still works, and that's awesome. So we did these, and the last one we'll be delivering will be the snowmobile. If you guys would like to see more delivering videos, let me know down below in the comments and what should we deliver next. We have many different types of vehicles we could use to deliver. We do not always have to use this forklift. So I think we'll be getting this last snowmobile off, then we'll be calling it a day. And we really have to get this one in the center. The pallet is very long, very wide, and almost feel like uh, we might run into some problems, but we should overall be very good at this. So take a look at that, guys. We will be unloading this, and that's pretty much it for today's delivering video. We delivered the snow goober, a few snowmobiles, snowboards, and ice skates here on the Wood Metal Farming map. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, and subscribe for more.